Hey guys, what's up? So we're here to check out the skills of Alpha guys. And as you know, we're trying to release some basic guides for all the heroes in Mobile Legends. Since last time we've checked, some of the guides out there are a bit outdated because of the latest patch and updates. So anyways guys, let's go check out Alpha's passive skill, Beta Advance. And it says, using skills will summon Beta to attack and mark the target. Beta will attack the target continuously for 2 marks, dealing 150 points of true damage in total. Remember guys, any skill you use will trigger this passive skill. Sometimes you'll see Alpha making kills even though the opponent is already way out of his reach. And that's because of this passive skill guys, Beta. Next up guys is his first skill, Rotary Impact. Launches a slash forwards dealing 210 points of physical damage to the enemies along the way and lowers their movement speed by 70% lasting 2 seconds. After the light wave launches, Beta will follow its trace to strafe the enemy, dealing 90 points of physical damage. Now, uh, this is a great poking skill for Alpha guys. This also lowers the movement speed of your opponents by a lot, 70% to be exact. So it's a good skill to chase down enemies and as you saw in the skill description guys, Beta will also strafe and damage the enemies and this is a separate Beta damage from your passive skill. So basically guys, Beta will be attacking a lot as long as you hit the enemy. Next up is his second skill, Force Swing. After powering up for a while, the hero will strike forwards in a conical area and deal 245 points of physical damage to enemies and slow them down. Every hit on an enemy will increase self's attack speed by 5% and restore 150 points of HP. When powering up ends, Beta will straf enemies along the edge of the attack range dealing 105 points of physical damage. Now, this skill guys will be your lifeline. You will rely a lot on your skill because of the HP restoration it provides. The more enemies you hit guys with this skill, the more HP you get and also the more attack speed you get. Uh, the minions and jungle monsters are included guys. So imagine fighting an enemy hero and there are like 3 or 4 minions beside him. That's 5% per target on your attack speed. So depending on the given circumstances guys, your attack speed can dramatically increase. Not to mention the insane HP region you'll be getting from all those targets. Now, uh, there are a lot of items that can further help you increase the lifesteal you get from this skill. And like I said guys, because of all the recent updates, the most effective build for Alpha has changed. But we'll discuss that later on. Next up guys is his third skill, Spear of Alpha and it says wields the light spear powerfully, stunning the target when it hits. The hero will be pulled to the hit enemy, dealing 245 points of physical damage to enemies along the way. When the light spear hits, it will guide the fight suit to strafe towards the target's area dealing 205 points of physical damage. This skill guys is what makes Alpha such a great initiator. This can stun all of the opponents along Alpha's way but that means you'll find yourself in the middle of the clash right after you jump guys. However, you have the necessary skills to back up your suicide charge. This is the perfect moment to use your second skill guys. A lot of targets, meaning a lot of HP region and a lot of increase in your attack speed. So do basic attacks guys right after you swing your second skill to take advantage of all the attack speed you just received. However, when you feel that you're in danger or your allies aren't following through with your charge, then you can flicker out to safety. And again guys, there's this new item that came with a recent update which will definitely help Alpha survive this kind of situations. So with that said guys, let's talk about the best items for Alpha and let's start small. First off is his boots guys and the best boots for him is the Boots of Tranquility. And it provides a plus 20 HP region, plus 20 mana region and a unique passive bless which says HP region effect increased by 10%. Now this unique passive bless guys will add a 10% HP region on your second skill. So that's really gonna help a lot since like I said before, 
you will use your second skill a lot. And also guys, this will add another 10% HP regen on your current lifesteal. And with Alpha guys, he is sure to have a lifesteal item on his set. This boots will basically boost any lifesteal item you have guys. Next item guys is the newly buffed Wings of the Apocalypse Queen. This item is just freaking perfect for Alpha guys. It provides some physical attack and HP but what makes this item perfect for him is the unique passive Demonize. It says increases physical and magical defense by 30% and physical lifesteal by 15% when HP drops below 40%. However, the part about the physical death and magic death is technically not true guys. What it actually provides is a 30% damage reduction which is way better. Once you reach an HP below 40% which usually happens with Alpha because of his gameplay, you suddenly get way tankier guys and this effect is on or activated as long as you are under 40% HP. This gives Alpha some breathing space to be able to perform all his lifesteal skills guys. Uh, also, you won't have to worry about suddenly dying because of a burst damage opponent. Seriously guys, just try it out. I used to rely on the magic blade to save alpha on such situations but with the new wings of the apocalypse item, uh, it has been my new lifesaver guys. Also, don't forget about the 15% lifesteal you get and that's freaking a lot guys and you are sure to make use of it because of the attack speed increase you'll be getting. Now, I can't stress it enough guys how perfect this item is for alpha. So anyways guys, let's move on to the next recommended item. Now this is a bit more obvious. The item is the Bloodlust Axe. Alpha relies on both his skills and basic attacks but most of the time guys, he relies on his skills so having a lifesteal on your skills is the best option to choose. Now, remember guys your tranquility boots, it will boost the lifesteal you get from the bloodless axe and wings of the apocalypse queen so it's a real great item combination. Now as you've seen in the video guys, Alpha's lifesteal is just insane because of his natural lifesteal and additional lifesteal he gets from the lifesteal items. Now as for the battle spell guys, I'd really go for Flicker. Uh, you will always find yourself right in the middle of a clash because of your ultimate. So having an escape plan right after charging towards the enemy lines really helps. So anyways guys, that's it. We just wanted to provide you with some basic tips and guides on how to use alpha. Thanks. Hey guys, just a quick info, you have a chance to win a totally free skin, all you need to do is subscribe on my channel, turn on the notification, the bell icon, like this video, and comment down below your in-game name, ID number, and the skin of your choice that is under 300 diamonds. That's all guys.